did a conference last year, the tech conference at South by Southwest, and um, you know that, that kind of question came up. And what I would say is that the fan artist relationship, which is essentially, look, the labels exploit the bands and put the bands in the position of exploiting the fans. People are coming too savvy for that. Okay, so the bands got to get out of the exploitation business, both being exploited by the labels and then exploiting the fans. And then the relationship can be a holistic one. Just like if you have your favorite restaurant. Hey Bob, how you doing? Oh, I'm so happy to be in your restaurant. Give me a meal. You don't mind paying that little bit extra because you know you're going to get good service and you know that you like the way it feels. Then you go out and tell your friends, oh man, I love this restaurant. Why has that got to be a weird relationship? Why does that business consciousness not extend into the music business? Because of the old business, which asked the bands to be exploited and then in turn exploit. So if you want to support artists, all you have to do is energetically participate. You don't even have to spend any money. Retweet, recommend, tell people why. That's it. If you want to spend your money, great. When people get into that weird thing with me about like spending money, I think, fuck off, I don't need your money. You know what I mean? Like, if you think if you think I gotta go like this to get your 15 bucks, I don't. I don't. Or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I don't. I never did. I, I read this just to finish. I read this beautiful thing once by, by the uh, uh, playwright, uh, David Mamet, a famous playwright. And he was talking, he was obviously talking about something else, but it was relatable. He talks about when, you, in the beginning when you're an artist, you're free, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Then you pray for somebody to come along and say, yeah, you. They give you some money and then you give up your rights. And then you spend the next 15, 20 years trying to get your rights back to your independence. So what I've done is I've got my independence. You know, I complain a lot less, and I'm motivated a lot more because I want to create that relationship. Now, how do we do that in a way that doesn't feel weird? You know what I mean? Or creepy, or like, I gotta feel ashamed when I put that plate down on the table because I know deep down I'm really exploiting you. That's what I'm saying. When you believe in something, then it's a, the money becomes a relative issue. It's just an exchange of energy. If you don't believe in it, of course it's always too much. It's always too much. And that's what we've gotta get out of, everybody. That's why I say, support some kid in your neighborhood. Support, you know, buy everything from, like I, I read a tweet today, somebody said, I bought OCNA just to be supportive and I'm surprised I actually like it. Mm -hmm. It's great. A, because the person took the chance, because they believe in me or the pumpkins, and B, then they listen to it, okay, it's good. Then they're tweeting and they're recommending, you see? It's perfect, that's all. It's such a small thing. Oh, but when I said this at South by Southwest, people were like, they get weird because it's like, what do you mean? The fans have to get, you know, because fans are, have almost been taught, to, uh, been taught to think like victims because they're so used to being exploited. How many times have we bought the box set, right? We take it home, oh, it's got eight extra tracks, and they suck <laughs> because the band had nothing to do with it. Some guy said, well, we just got to put enough B-sides or extra tracks on here to get you or you or me to buy it, and you go home and you get bummed out. It's got to, all that's got to stop. Once that stops, it'll be totally a cool business again. And then you'll see, you'll see plenty of artists who are able to sustain happy, productive careers. They'll be able to say, well, I can sell 50,000 records a year. I play what I want, do what I want, dress what I want, say what I want. I don't have to kiss anybody's ass. I don't have to be exploited. And I own everything I create. That's, I mean, that would be awesome. That would be the true legacy of the demise of the record business the rise of the indi individual entrepreneur, whether it's a painter or a filmmaker, or whatever. That's where we're going. So once people get out of the victim mentality, they won't look at the artist as, well, <laughs> I mean, you're just gonna take advantage of me. How many hit songs you playing? You know what I mean? Not, I wanna be there because I wanna be there. So we're trying to change that relationship. I mean, it's really difficult. And we may not be able to do it, or it may be too late to do it. But I think that's the very much. Thank you. Thank you.